Hey everybody, my name is Chase Stroud with Pumps Precision Rifle Training. I'm here with G2 Precision today, and we are going to take their brand new Recce rifle. It's got a 18 inch, eight twist proof barrel, and we are going to shoot this thing at 2,500 yards, all right? The 5.56 and the 223, they kind of max out at roughly 600 yards. Well, I'm here to tell you, you can shoot a whole lot further than you think. With specialty rounds that I've loaded and developed just for this chambering, we are gonna push this thing four times further than what most people are capable of shooting a 5.56. ammunition specifically for this rifle. We are shooting a Burger hybrid projectile. We are shooting it fairly slow because it is the most consistent. The consistency is all that matters. Velocity doesn't mean a thing if you don't have consistency. So we want this bullet to go where we want it to go every shot. So we backed it down off pressure a little bit. We're running around 2650 feet a second. And we've got this tub angular nose ring on here. And this is the secret to letting us really stretch the legs well into deep subsonic distances. We'll be shooting roughly 1,500 yards past where we go transonic. That's 1,800 yards right there. Good job, we're going to 5-2. Yeah, that might have been an impact. That was an impact, I can't see where that is. Still is. Same shot. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna hold a little bit less wind again. See if we push to the right again. I mean, that was just several hits at a mile. Well, over a mile. That was 1,800. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was 1,800 yards right there. Yeah. Nice. Outstanding. So, and we just hit, what, probably three? Yeah, probably three. <laughs> three out of five or six. So that's... Not too shabby. 30. 30. 60. Not bad. You can do better. Shoot her up. Okay. Over. Long. Long. Short right. Uh, Short right. Okay. okay. Just in. It was in line with the target on windage on the right side. You're in line. You're in line with the target, but you're 10 yards short. He was literally right under the film. I'm sorry. I was like 20 yards. Right. I came up two tenths. Right It was like, it must have been right off the fucking edge because the bullet landed right by the coat. Right or left? I would I sent, anything, it was maybe off the left edge. I sent the same shot. It was right in line with the left edge. I came right like a, a tenth. Seven. Oh! It was like right at the bottom. Yeah, I mean, the bottom edge. It's a dirt wash. <laughs> it's like... Do it again, do it again. Wind changed. I didn't hold enough wind. Four. It's gonna push right. Right there. Got it. Awesome. 
We just hit 2,500 yards with an 18 inch G2 Precision Recce Rifle. I would challenge any other gas company to get out there and try to do that. It ain't happening. Charlie. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. 2,500 yards with it. Man, I heard that clank come through the phone. That was awesome. Good stuff right there. Hell yeah. Is the did it hit keyhole or is it did it hit head on? Head on, yeah. Alright, that tub nose ring kept it stable. That is awesome. That made it such a big difference. So the, the other magazine that we tried without the nose ring. Yeah, those are correct. Same exact powder charge loaded to the second decimal point on a super trickler, double mandrel necks. I mean everything was the same. And they were shooting probably fifty yards of yeah, distance out there. Those tub nose rings kept them within five yards yeah, probably. Probably five yards. So man, that is awesome. My buddy Charlie Melton on glass here kept me in line and we just sent a bullet for what seven and a half seconds time of flight and we just connected down there on a 36 inch plate at just shy of one and a half miles so that's a personal best with a 223 for me um not going to claim any kind of world record but that is definitely that's the first i've heard of yeah, yeah. It heard you guys. outstanding yeah, stuff heard that one hit on the phone that was awesome good deal thanks guys Got us. sweet Hi, we're out here in uh, Hearn, Texas. We just shot 2,500 yards with the new G2 Recce 223 with an 18-inch barrel. Out here with Chase Stroud. Uh, these weapons are available. Go to uh, g2precision.com. There's different packages available. You can pick what optic you want. And then soon to come out, Chase is going to so, work on them. Yeah, I've been uh, really going into the weeds on load development with this rifle. We've uh, developed a very specific load just for this rifle, projectile, and powder, seating depth, all the above. And it is going to make this rifle's extended distance where the average shooter, if you have a basic knowledge of ballistics at all and any ability to read wind, you'll confidently be able to shoot this rifle over a thousand yards. And, you know, Charlie and I, we've been doing this for basically a lot of time each. And that's what's allowed us to uh, push this rifle way over the limits of the invisible 600 yard wall that people think a 556 has and we're here at 2500 yards and this is no trick um, we can come out and repeat this stuff uh, people are going to call bs which they always do and you know you go out and push the limits on something and um, we had hell we had five or six people hitting it 1325 yards yesterday with this rifle so it's no fluke <laughs>